Hello everyone, Wade from High Tech Legion here, and in this video we're going to be giving you an overview and showing you benchmarks for the Z77A G45 motherboard from MSI. This is a new motherboard in their gaming line, and as you can see, it is approved by Fnatic and also has Killer E2200 gaming NIC uh, on board. We have also have uh, Sound Blaster Cinema Audio and the Military Class three components uh, that MSI is known for with the solid caps and SFCs on board. You've got their Click BIOS 2 utility for overclocking and this is a, as a Z77 board so it has LGA 1155 on it and supports second and third generation Intel Core i3, i5, i7 processors. So let's take a closer look at the board itself. So here we have the Z77A G45 gaming board unboxed from the Dragon Box that MSI shipped it in. And you can see we've got a red and black theme here. The Dragon uh, engraving here on the MSI heatsink uh, that fits over the Z77 Express chipset. You've also got the heatsinks on the digital VRM, power VRM. Um, also in the red and black theme and your LGA 1155 slot here under the protective plastic. All your caps are solid caps and you have the solid ferrite core uh, chokes that are part of the military class 3 components which allow for them to handle more power and oftentimes get a higher overclock with these types of boards with the high quality uh, components used in them. <coughs> Next we have our PCI Express slots. We've got four PCI Express 1, PCI 2.0 2 X1 slots here. Um, and you'll notice there's actually two in between the two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots to give proper spacing between graphics cards if you're using a multi-GPU system. We also have a PCI Express 2.0 slot uh, X16 length um, that supports PCI Express speeds of X4. You got your CMOS battery here on it and the killer NIC chipset is right here and you have your one system fan connector these are all uh, four pin PWM connectors and your CPU fan is up at the top here uh, your eight pin power connector there are also two other system fan connectors right here and a three pin connection here for system fan three. Down right here you've got your DDR3 uh, slots DIMM one through four. Uh, you notice that the channels aren't really color coded here but it's they're right next to each other one two three and four they've got the that marked out here on the board so you'll populate your um, dims in two and four first if you only have two chips your 24 pin uh, ATX power connector here as well as voltage checkpoints right along the top or right along the side right next to that uh, the power connector along the side of the board here we have our USB 3.0 header as well as six SATA ports that are all provided by the Z77 chipset. Um, three, four, five, and six are SATA three gigabits per second, and one and two are the SATA six gigabits per second. So if you're hooking up an SSD or a drive that's capable of SATA six gigabits, you should put them in slots one and two. All of these ports are capable using the Intel rapid storage technology to provide uh, AHCI RAID 0, 1, uh, 5, and 10. You also have three USB 2.0 headers along the bottom here. Your 
front panel headers, which they have broken up into two blocks, which is kind of nice because you're, so you're not trying to jam cables in uh, all so close together. Your uh, JDLED3 is for voice control, and JTPM1 is for a trusted platform module for security, and then you also have JCOM1, which is for the an external COM port if you still have devices that need uh, something like that and an additional three pin system fan connection down here along this side uh, as well right here is your HD audio connection that uses the Sound Blaster Cinema chipset the board is capable of AMD Crossfire X SLI and also maxes out at a memory clock of DDR3000 which so far I haven't really seen very many uh, memory chips at that speed so in a sense it is a little bit ready for future memory on the IO panel we have our a PS2 port as well as two USB 2.0 ports these are the gaming optimized ports so you're going to want to plug your peripherals into these to get the best um, polling rate and not have any lag with your peripherals you have SP diff and an optical um, out as well as an, another two USB 2.0 ports and right below that is your HDMI port which you can use if you're using a chipset that or a, a CPU that has a graphics processor uh, GPU built into it. Your killer NIC RJ45 connection here to rear USB 3.0 ports, a VGA connection, and a DVI connection as well. You have the six inputs, analog inputs here for your speakers, so you can get full surround sound on this board using the Sound Blaster um, chipset. On the rear of it, we've got the um, extra support here around the chipset and just a label here with the information on the board. And now let's install the CPU into the unit and see how it performs. So I'll just pop the latch here. Uh, obviously, we make sure to remove the black plastic cover. And we'll take our CPU, which I have over here, line up the gold triangle with the triangle on the slot itself. Now, it, they've got a little circle white mark here for it to show where the triangle goes. And you're going to drop your tension bracket down and lock it into place. So I'll get this installed into a system and show you the benchmarks. Finally, we have the accessories for the Z77A G45 gaming board from MSI. First, we've got the, the I.O. shield. We've got two SATA 3 cables, both with an angled connection on one side and a straight connection on the other. These are locking cables, too. We've got the drivers and utility CD. A badge to put on your case to indicate the gaming series quick installation guide as well as a multi-language full user guide here for the motherboard and a sign to hang on your door 
to keep the uh, spouse or boyfriend girlfriend away while you're gaming, though somehow I don't think that would work. This has been an overview and benchmarks for the Z77A G45 gaming board from MSI. I hope you enjoyed this video and for the full view please see www.hitechlegion.com and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages as well. Take care.